So one more thing that's going on at the soup kitchen is that there was a bunch of pellets outside. Oh, you can see another stack way up there. There's a ceramic tile company that gets their stuff on pellets, and we were able to buy a whole bunch of them for about a thousand grivna, which I don't know is like 25 bucks somewhere in there. And so we're going to use them to kind of create a funnel. So here in Ukraine, people tend to mob, and we've really worked on uh, funneling them into a line along the table where we feed. And out on the street in the parking lot, we use cars and a building to do that. Uh, but here, we want to create something a little bit more um, permanent. And so Mark is going to put some of these pallets on end like this, a little space in there that they can't get through, and like that. And there'll be the same thing here, and then across here, one section and one section, so that over here in the wall is just enough space for the people to leave. And that table will be set up right across here, kind of matching the end of this, so that we can bring out the soup and stuff, but it keeps people from going back into the kitchen. People won't be able to cut because when they come up to the front here, there's just gonna be that small space that they can get out and people will be lined up and we'll be able to control it a little bit better. So it'll, it'll go across here and then down here and then maybe just a little bit further here so that when we bring the people in from outside, whether both doors are open or we just have the pedestrian door open in the garage, door, then they'll be funneled uh, tighter and tighter to where one person can only fit uh, down here. And that will give us a little bit more control and keep the mobbing from happening. Um, and kind of what the plan is, is we'll bring them in here, uh, tell them that they, this is between this time you have to be here. If you're here after that time, you may not get to eat. We're going to have to see how we work that out. But what we want to do is have a lot of people that are local that we know that can give a very informal uh, gospel message and make it relatable. Don't preach at them. You know, they've had doctrine beat on them for so long because of the Soviet Union. We don't want to do that, and we haven't. Uh, through the years, we've shared our testimony and spoken to them once, maybe twice a year, but we've tried to build the relationships out of love. They never learn to line up single file in grade school. <laughs> they line up like a horde. Uh, a mob, yeah. A mob. Yeah, so we see that getting on the tramways or the trolley buses. It's gotten a little bit better, and especially after COVID, where people had to learn about social distancing. But, you know, when you're dealing with the elderly, they're not used to that. So they just kind of run up and, and hoard. So, anyway. I, I learned at the tramway and the buses that if you're polite and, you know, step aside so that the ladies can go first and all, it's like you may not get on. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be more aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I can do that. Uh, Ukraine has been through a lot of suffering, and they've had to really struggle to survive, and so that's become part of their culture. You know, you have to kind of fight for those things to survive. Be aggressive. So here we see the pedestrian door and the garage door. So when it's colder, we can just open that up. But we'll probably have that table that I talked about somewhere in here by the door with the trash can. And so as they walk out, we'll inspect and make sure that they leave the tray behind and don't take it with them. But one of the good things about this place, too, is because it is a garage that we can back our vehicle in. So when we come in with loads of supplies and, you know, bags of potatoes and carrots and all those kind of things, we just back right up and we just have the short distance through the kitchen door there into the storage. Uh, so there's just so many things we really like about this. Um, but we'll have to see how the dust is. I mean, we do have cement here. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working, so I may not be able to, to talk more to you. But we've got cement out in front, so that's going to cut down on the dust. But anyway, that's kind of an update of how we're using the pallets.